interview Workhorse CEO Steve Burns on the W15 electric pickup. In 2013, AMP Motors went from being a company converting traditionally powered vehicles to electrification, to being an OEM, essentially overnight. As Workhorse CEO Steve Burns told Data Blog during a phone interview, a company called Navistar got in trouble with the EPA, fired their CEO and just had a fire sale and started selling off everything that was non-core to their core business. And one of them was this workhorse facility, located in Union City, Indiana. So we bought the brand and the intellectual property, and the plant, and everything. One shot. Several years later, AMP is now called Workhorse Group and that plant in Union City will build the first mass-produced electric pickup truck, the Workhorse W15. That's assuming the company stays ahead of the likes of Tesla, which has plans for its own EV pickup. As a refresher, the W15, unveiled in May of this year, is technically a plug-in hybrid. More specifically, it's an electric vehicle with a gasoline range extender. On a full charge, it can do 80 miles on electric power, and achieves 32 miles per gallon highway and 28 miles per gallon city when using the gas motor. Its dual electric motors provide 460 horsepower, and push it from 0 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds. It can carry 2,200 pounds of cargo in the bed, and is rated to tow 5,000 pounds. Its battery also helps to serve as a mobile power supply, and a 7.2 kW, 30 amp outlet on the side can be used to power tools or other equipment. For Burns, building the first electric pickup, unless you count the tiny, unsuccessful runs from Ford and Chevy, is a task that carries a lot of gravity. Pickup truck is the number one vehicle, he said, number one, number two and number three best-selling vehicles in America and there isn't even a mild hybrid pickup truck. And so we figured it's not going to come from the incumbents. In spite of Tesla's intentions, Workhorse isn't sacrificing security for haste. That's why the company has been taking pre-orders to gauge the demand for a FEV pickup. We couldn't build it and hope they came. We wanted to make sure there was an audience of customers. But they sure came. Workhorse has almost $300 million worth of pre-orders for the W15, and already had 4,650 letter of intent pre-orders when it was unveiled in May, which it plans to begin building in late 2018. All fleets so far, Byrne said. We're just doing fleets, to start. We do have an immense amount of individuals that have written us and want it, but we haven't gone that route yet.